This has been here forever. So I can imagine it's just Desi, no. packed with lead. Neighbors in a South Sacramento neighborhood fear that toxic lead may be poisoning their families. The concern comes after the city closed a nearby gun range after tests came back with high levels of lead. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. We first brought you the story last year when the Mangan gun range closed. And now, leaders want to know if the issue has spread to a nearby neighborhood. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live in South Sacramento with a growing concern. Jennifer? Sam Christina, this vacant gun range sits in the middle of a South Sacramento neighborhood. On the one side, there's a pool and a park, and just behind me, hundreds of vacant or hundreds of homes. We're told by neighbors here that they hope that this vacant building isn't affecting their family's health. The doors of the Mangan rifle and pistol range have long closed. Toxic levels of lead shut it down in December of 2014. But what was found inside, neighbors fear could be outside. It is concerning. I don't know how severe it is, I don't, you know, because we swim here all summer. Melanie Mays has lived down the street for 56 years and wants to know her family is safe. Because we do our birthday parties here. Now I don't know if we're going to this summer. Tests inside the Mangan Range in 2014 were up to 400 times above what the state health department considers a lead hazard. <laughs> Even though it has been closed, people still use the park. And Mays wants to know if they're being poisoned. Made aware that there were um, levels of lead inside the shooting range. Councilman Jay Chenier's chief of staff said the councilman asked the city manager to order more soil tests to see if there's lead contamination in and around those areas closest to the park. Joe Devlin says it would cost two million to repair the facility, but says right now that's not their main concern. You can't really put a price on public health and public safety, and so. We just need to make it safe, and that's the bottom line. That's what the public expects. That's what the neighbors. That's what the neighbors want. The range has been around since the 1960s. For those who have lived here their whole life, wonder what the long-term effect of lead poisoning could be for their families, especially if it's found in the soil. We had a lot of functions at that park. I'm talking about. We live right here. We're always out, outside. We're told those initial results should be ready tomorrow, but that further testing, that'll take some time for the soil to be tested, and we won't have that information for a few weeks. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in South Sacramento.